Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas. Today's topic is going to be, they knew you before you knew yourself. Think about that for a minute. Everyone, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So I'll jump right in. Who are they? They, that's the narcissist. And now keep in mind, they did know you before you even knew yourself, because most likely, you had to go through that narcissistic relationship to find yourself. That's what I had to do. I'm gonna jump into this and so many other aspects of the thumbnail. Here we go. Who were you before you met the narcissist? Most likely, you were a kind, loving individual, maybe even an empath, maybe a people pleaser, maybe a person with little or no boundaries, maybe a yes person. Maybe you're putting other individuals in front of yourself throughout most of your life. And then lo and behold, what happened? You encountered the narcissist and this individual struck up a relationship with you, whether it was romantic, friendship, business, neighbor, pe person in the community or organization you are and or were a part of. However they did it, they looked at you and they saw you. They saw your abundance. They saw your beautiful bright light within you. They saw what you would do, how you wouldn't quit, what you offered. They knew who you were very, very quickly and they wanted to extract your resources from you. Now, why I share that resources them taking the resources from you so frequently on the channel is because it's completely true, number one, but the awareness is getting out there on the planet and people are understanding that their time, their money, their love, their empathy, everything about them is extremely precious. It's invaluable actually. And these are things the narcissist wants to take from you. So going back when the narcissist first encountered you, they wanted to see who you really were. If your actions met your uh, equaled your words and if you really knew your value or not now I'll tell you most likely you did not know your value you were probably a kind loving individual believing that most people on the planet had your best interest at heart we now know they don't they never have and they never will and the narcissist was one of these such individuals the narcissist looked at you as an opportunity as someone who could they could get extremely close to buddy up to have you fall in love with them to create a relationship or go into business with them or have you relocate with them because they looked at you as a source of supply. Now again, you are a beautiful, bright, shining light. You're a human being. You're spectacular, you're abundant, you're glowing, you're radiant. You have all of the beauty within you, internally and externally. This is what the narcissist saw in you and they wanted to take it from you. Keep this in mind, with the narcissistic relationship, when you were in it or if you're still in it now looking to get out of it, there is an energetic exchange between you, the high vibrational individual who vibrates higher than the sky, than the sun, and the low vibrational state of the narcissist. They vibrate extremely low in the quagmire. The narcissist wanted to hoodwink you. They wanted to fool you and trick you and trap you. And they wanted to steal your beautiful bright light and your abundance and all of your resources, everything they could get their grubby little fingers on, they wanted to take from you and they wanted to trade places with you. In other words, they wanted to be in the abundance, the bright light, the beauty. That's where they wanted to be and they tricked you and they switched places with you and they put you down in the low vibrational quagmire while they were stealing all of your resources from you. Now you did not know this was the case. You're getting the wisdom on my channel now and you're understanding that yes, in fact, there was and or is an energetic exchange with these creatures called the narcissist. They want to take everything they possibly can from you. So let's talk about money for a minute. Let's say you had money, a good amount of money. Well, the narcissist saw this and they figured it out that you did have resources. So what did they do? They probably played the victim card and asked you to pay for some bills of theirs or put a roof over their head or buy them food or get them a new smartphone phone or a computer or vacations, whatever, whatever they wanted to do or buy them food. If I didn't say that, they wanted this to, uh, to, uh, for you to do this for them because they wanted to utilize your financial resources. Now keep in mind, many times the narcissist will tell you that they don't have financial resources, but they do. And they just wanna spend your money. Drop comments below if this resonates with you. But that is one example, financial resources. Another one is your health. When you were in the relationship, your health took a turn for the worse, I can assure you. In other words, you were probably now experiencing anxiety. You were walking around on eggshells. You could cut the tension in the room with a butter knife. You were being gaslit. You were being given the silent treatment. Many of your support system was blowing up all around you, left, right, and center, because the narcissist was spreading false rumors about you or rumors about you or untruths. In other words, it was the smear campaign. And all of these things 
contributed to the narcissistic relationship that you were a part of and so many more. But the narcissist knew that you would be placed in the trauma bond, which is what they did with you. They, after the euphoric stage or the love bomb stage, whatever you want to call it, when everything is all puppies and rainbows, that's when they really ramped up the abuse and they, they placed you in the devaluation stage. Why I mention that is because this is a place that not only did you not know it existed, you didn't know how to get out of there and you couldn't wrap your head around what you were up against. Now keep in mind, the narcissist knew exactly how to place you in that devaluation stage, how to keep you trapped in the narcissistic fog when you were essentially feeling your way around through this fog, which was real by the way, trying to find the door to get out, to escape, to get back to the passage where you were before. You couldn't figure this out until the relationship was long over, most likely, or if you were wise enough to get the information on the narcissistic abusive cycle when you were still in it, then my heart definitely goes out to you. You are very intelligent and super strong, and you broke the narcissistic fog. You, you escaped, if you will. This is some place the narcissist did not want you to find. They did not want you to find the door to escape from the narcissistic fog. Keep in mind, like I'm sharing with you, the narcissist knew what they did with you. They knew who you were. They knew how to get everything from you. They knew how to trap you. They knew how to abandon you. They knew how to isolate you. They knew how to have you become an extension of themselves. They knew how to keep you waiting for the kids to turn a certain age before you could divorce the narcissist or before the narcissist would actually let you go if you understand what I'm sharing. Why I said that, let you go, is because the narcissist needs energy sources and you were one for a period of time, but it wasn't just you, I can assure you. It was immediate family members, other romantic interests, friends, colleagues, pets, cars, tangible assets, money, real estate. This is all supplied to the narcissist, but what they did know, they knew you before you even knew yourself, because what you had to do when you escaped the narcissistic fog is you had to go through that relationship and process it, and then you had to find the needle in the haystack, which is my channel, and you had to become awakened and aware educated and empowered and you had to understand that in fact there are people on this planet that don't have your best interest at heart and the narcissist is certainly one of these people the narcissist wants to take take and take and when they're done they want to take more this is exactly how the narcissist goes on from relationship to relationship person to person place to place business to business leaving a wake of destruction in their path this is how they thrive this is how they get unsuspecting individuals and at times recycled individuals to fall back into the narcissistic relationship keep in mind the narcissist knew what they were doing to you they know what they're doing right now with whomever they're with they know what they will do in the future if they have the ability to do so and or the resources to do so that is why you should not accept a hoover now again i mentioned the hoover on the channel recently an awful lot frequently because it is the holiday season we are approaching and the holiday hoover is something that many of us are susceptible to but the path here to minimize your odds or chances of receiving or getting a holiday hoover is simple go no contact block the narcissist remove them delete all flying monkeys and people associated with the narcissist if not now when this is the path this is what you must do the idea of the Hoover is for the narcissist to try to draw you back into the relationship, to see if you will take a bite of that forbidden fruit, to see if you will go back for another round of punishment and abuse. And once you get the wisdom, you should not accept a Hoover. You should not want a Hoover. You should not answer anything even close to a flying monkey who is trying to test the waters of you and or the pulse of you. These people do not have your best interest at heart, just like the narcissist. And why I'm sharing all of these things, going back to the thumbnail, that they knew you before you even knew yourself because you had to lose yourself to find yourself. Please play that again. You had to lose yourself to find yourself. These aren't just words, these are facts. Because when you were in the narcissistic relationship, you did not know what you were doing. You didn't know if you were coming or going or if this person would show up or if they wouldn't show up or if you were on time, if they would be on time. In other words, the narcissist kept you waiting. They played the waiting games of the narcissist and what they were doing was watching your life tick by, watching your resources become depleted, watching your health take a hit, your finances go to zero, your social circle blowing up and watching you become a shell of yourself. Going back to what I shared earlier in the video, there is an energetic exchange between you and the narcissist when you were in this relationship. They knew it and they know it now with whomever else they're with. This is how they thrive. This is how they get through life, by stealing people's abundance, by stealing people's hopes, dreams, aspirations, futures, money, time, energy, everything I share. This is why the narcissist is a parasite. 
This is why they cannot sustain relationships with anybody, including their own family. This is why the narcissist is destined and or doomed to be trapped within their tiny little feeble mind. This is why the narcissist goes through cycles of relationships. This is why the narcissist gets worse with age. This is why the narcissist becomes the aging narcissist because they can't do anything other than inflict damage upon virtually everybody they come across. And for a minute, think what I'm gonna share with you. If you believe even for one minute that anybody that who knows the narcissist is immune to the toxic relationship or immune to becoming a target, think again, that's not the case. Anybody who is close to the narcissist, even an acquaintance, is on the radar of the narcissist, including their own kids, their own moms, their own neighbors, their uh, associates, business associates, people in communities with them or organizations, anyone can become a target of the narcissist because the narcissist is always testing the water of each and every relationship they are a part of. And that's why you will find out throughout these relationships many times people come and go in the narcissist's life. In other words, watch this. Let's say it's a sister or a brother and the, their, brother, their brother or sister is the narcissist. Well, you'll see there are periods of time when that brother or sister will pop into the narcissist's life and everything's good. And then all of a sudden there'll be a disagreement or something and then that person disappears again. Why? I'll tell you why. Because the narcissist, if it's not their way, it's the highway. That's exactly how they live. They're stuck in that childlike mindset. They want nothing of the betterment of other individuals. They just want other individuals to work for them, to be the unpaid helper, to be the walking apology, to be the person who provides finances for them, to be the person who makes them look good, to be the arm candy, to be the person who raises the kids, to be the person who they can take from. This is exactly why, again, let's say that the narcissist, uh, you're in a relationship, a friendship with somebody who is a toxic individual. And what do they do? Well, they call you up a couple times a week and they just say, hey, just give me a couple minutes. I just wanted to catch up with you. And those couple minutes turn into an hour, which turns into two hours or three hours. And the, what, what are they doing? All they're doing is look, they're just regurgitating all the nonsense that they went through that day. Basically, they're talking about nothing because in the narcissist, to the narcissist, there is no substance to them. They, if you really listen to their words, there's no, there's no, core to their words but what they're trying to do here is they're trying to become an energy vampire and zap your energy on the smartphone or the cell phone or a zoom call whatever it is why because you keep on receiving the call and you keep on tolerating the poor behavior and you don't have a boundary and you can't say no the strongest word in the english language and the narcissist knows this so why am i saying that because as long as you continue to receive these kind of phone calls or communication with someone who's trying to steal your energy i.e the energy vampire they will continue to do so that's why you must get the boundaries in place. That's why you must understand that these people won't change. They only get worse over time. Now, when I said you had to lose yourself to find yourself, I meant exactly that. Because when you go through things like the dark night of the soul, or you get discarded and you are thrown away like a sheet of paper crumbled up on the freeway, and your support system is completely blown up around you, left, right, and center, and you have no one but yourself to lean on, and you have to put yourself back together, and you have to dust yourself off and rise through the ashes like a phoenix and enter the third version of you, the strongest version of you possible, the most galvanized version of you that you did not even know ever existed. When you do that, you're changed forever. You see, you can't unsee what you've seen. And now what you've seen and experienced is the toxic narcissistic relationship. And that is one of the most challenging relationships you've ever been a part of. If you knew back then that the narcissist was the narcissist, you would not have entered that relationship. But you entered the relationship thinking they had your best interest at heart. Nothing could have been further from the truth. The truth is they wore a mask and they manipulated you. And they knew who you were before you knew yourself. However, now post-narcissistic relationship, when you've reached that pinnacle of indifference, that mountaintop of indifference, when you don't care one bit about the narcissist or any of those individuals in that past life, that past period of time, you wish them all the best of luck, but just stay away from me is what you say. When that is you, you are now changed forever. You now vibrate higher than you ever thought possible. The narcissist shrivels up and fades away back in that quagmire. And do they have another source of supply by now? probably multiple sources of supply. Are those people getting it any better than you did? No, they're getting it worse because the narcissist has now aged and they are now fine, they have now fine tuned their manipulating ways and they inflict more and more damage on unsuspecting individuals or those who aren't strong enough to break the trauma bond or recycled individuals or immediate family members. But nobody is immune to the narcissistic relationship. Remember that. Having said all these things before I close the video, remember you had to lose yourself to find yourself and now that you've found yourself, you're now awakened, aware, educated, and empowered. You now have boundaries in place. You now know your value. You now have people jumping through hoops to understand if they can become a part of your life. Now, that when I say that, I don't mean it as a bad thing. I'm saying that you now don't take everybody at face value. You now give them a litmus test. If they 
say that if their actions match their words, fine. You can strike up a relationship with them. If they don't, they're out. Why do I say that? I'll tell you why, because there are 8 billion people on the planet. And after you've encountered the narcissistic relationship and, and conquered it and defeated it, you don't need to tolerate anybody's poor behavior any longer. Not for one second, not on a plane, not on a train, not in a car, not sitting in a movie theater, not doing anything. What you need is to be yourself and to be a high vibrational individual and to be comfortable in your own skin, which is another thing I will say before I close the video. Remember, you have the ability to just be, to just take your time and enjoy your life. And if you wanna sleep in till 10 o'clock, you do so. If you wanna come out in the park and create a video, you do so. If you wanna go for a walking meditation, you do so. You don't need individuals to regulate yourself. Flip the script for a minute. The narcissist needs individuals. They need people to pump up their fragile ego. They need people to extract things from. They need people to believe that they are the best thing in the world when in fact they are nothing even close to that. This is exactly the curse of the narcissist. The narcissist cannot change. All they do is shape shift. This is why you must have boundaries in place. This is why you must understand that if you had learned the lesson post narcissistic relationship, you're now changed forever. And way back when, the narcissist did know who you were before you knew yourself. Now you flip it. Now you know yourself better than anybody because the person the narcissist met in the past, that person is long gone. That was a naive, gullible, rose-colored, tinted glasses, glasses person, a person who did not have boundaries, who didn't know their value or their worth. Now the current version of you, the third version of you, the most galvanized version of you possible, the one watching this video, is the person who is strong. You have fortitude, resilience, commitment, strength, boundaries, courage, growth, abundance. You have all of these doors opening up for you because you've conquered the narcissistic relationship and you've now kicked it to the curb and you've taken the lifelong learning lessons and applied them. This is the path. Understand my message. If not now, when? So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from the beautiful Carolinas. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon, evening, or morning. No matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. Remember that. You are not alone. God bless you all. I love you. Have a great afternoon. And sorry about the noise, but I'm doing the best I can. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye, guys.